When you're posting on social media, whenever you have time, it can be so dangerous to your brand. I know there are some companies out there that don't have a set schedule, but you need one and I need one. If you're some kind of solopreneur or small business owner, it's so helpful for you to have a resource that tells you what you're going to post and when you're going to post it. I mean, no one's going to hold yourself accountable but you. So it's so important for you to have some kind of guide that tells you exactly what to do and when to do it. If you need a tool that helps you organize all of your social media content, I have the resource for you at the end of this video. But now I'm going to show you that same resource in action. Okay, so this is a calendar that I dug up. It, um, it's from a old client of mine. She um, owned a toy shop. And so I'm gonna use this to kind of walk you through some of the components of this calendar. I used this, this template when I first started, um, started doing social media for, for, um, for clients about three years ago. And, um, and starting out without having to pay for, um, for an actual like scheduling tool or, or anything like that, this was so helpful for me. And so now I'm just going to walk you guys through um, how I used it. And then hopefully this will be helpful for you um, to use in the future. And so um, before I started writing any kind of content, I made sure that I knew like what, like what were um, the client's goals or like the theme of the month or if there were any blogs that that they wanted me to, to um, feature as well. I also um, wanted to highlight any any important product launches or events that the um, customer had as well. So, um, so for in this example, um, April 11th was a doll fashion show, um, and um, there was also a promo happening um, for four weeks where you would uh, where there would be a secret word that was promoted somewhere online and the customer would have to kind of find out where it was and then, and then, send, it in, and then send it in in some kind of like um, fashion to enter it themselves into a contest. The third thing that I wanted you guys to look at is the important events section. So this will be where you will highlight those those holidays or anything else that um, that matches well with your industry but isn't a, an actual company event. It's just a well-known holiday or event that you guys um, want to um, do do content for. So down below all of that we have the actual calendar which is separated between by the date, a topic, platform, and content. Each day, so each day that you're using goes here. All of the dates go, go here and the topic. Now here is where you can um, choose which social media site you want to have. Now um, it was part of the strategy to post two times a day on Facebook and three times um, on Twitter at that time. But um, if you have an Instagram or a um, Pinterest, you could use the same thing. Now, the other section is also the content section. And so this can be used however way you want it to be used. Now, what I did was I, um, if, there was, if, if this was a text post, I would kind of write out what the post would, would be and then put the link share in the actual post. So for example, this one right, right, um, right here, I did that. Um, you could also just kind of um, just write anything that will help you remember what you want to say during that day. So for example, I just um, use hashtags. And so these were, were the hashtags that I were going, was going to use that day. And so, I, and so the secret word for that day was frozen. And these were the hashtags that we were using because it was part of our strategy. And so you can use this sheet however way you want. Now um, keep in mind now you can even customize this. Um, so if you are more photo based um, or video based, you could also um, create another another category by um, by just adding another um, column. So this could be the content section, and this could, and then you could also have another um, section labeled photos or like or videos, and then you would just share those links there. That way, you have everything in one spreadsheet ready to go and ready to, to be scheduled out on any platform. So that was a resource and I hope it was helpful. If you would like that template for yourself, you can find that link down below. But if you're still having trouble finding what to say online, I have a free three part video series that can help you out. It's called Shaping Your Brand Story and if you're interested, the link's down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below and please don't forget to like this video and share it with a friend. No, we should use the transition.
much. Okay. <laughs> okay. And it's only one sentence, so if it's not a perfect, if you don't okay. feel it, it's fine. So that was the resource that I dug up from five years ago. I hope it was helpful. I don't know. It's probably fine. I don't know.